In this lesson, I want to show you how to add time tracking. This is where you get to track the times for the work that you do. So you want to click on new. And then you can choose the tasks that you are assigning this particular time tracking to. And you can choose the project once more. So if you have multiple projects that you're working on and it should create milestones and tasks is going to show up on here. So we have one for the current project we're working on. So I'm going to create one for each um, milestone. So time tracking one, you can put in the log date and then you can put in the log uh, time and just pretty much the amount of time that you've been working on this particular project. So I'm going to put in 10 and it's this billable. You want to set that to yes, or if it's not, you can set it to no. So the current rate that I set is one hundred twenty um, twenty-five dollars per hour, and then you go over. This is set to the register, and then you want to click on save, and you want to add new. And we're going to do the same thing for time tracking two, and put in the log date. Billable, yes. And finally, we're going to do once more for time tracking three for this third milestone. And choose your log date. And then you want to click on save. So now when you go over to the time tracking here, it shows you the billable total here and uh, the time that is, you know, the time frame for each one and the rate here. So let's go over and this based on what's completed. So you're connecting these. The reason why this amounts are like this is because the tasks have not been completed yet. Once you complete it, then this amount is going to change. Right now, it's showing estimated for that. But if you complete its tasks, then and it shows you right here the total um, time frame that is going to take to complete uh, each task and what you're tracking it for uh, for the billable section of it. Uh, a nice clean. And once again, you can also, you know, click to print. Everything show, shows on here for um, your records or for the client records. This is something to the definitely recommend that once you get everything down, you've created your milestones, you create all the details about your project you give it to the client so that they know what they've been charged for they know what they've been you know been billed for and if they have any questions you can always explain to them you know what that is but it's, it's show here in a nice clean design that you can print off and keep for your team your records and also for your client